Yuri there guys, this is Corba and welcome once again to the Heroes of the Storm Alpha. This video is going to be the first of a few. I'm going to make a really quick series covering each unique map in Heroes and there are a bunch. The many different maps and objectives is something that I really really like about the game. Um, it definitely makes it feel unique, so I guess the series is for any of you guys who are curious how each of the maps work. I'm going to be playing through a game on each, talking it through as I go, starting with Black Hearts Bay. Now before we get into some real clips, we're going to have a very, very fast general rundown of what the map is all about. Black Hearts Bay, like most battlegrounds, has three lanes that you can push. That is of course top, middle and bottom. There are a whole bunch of regular neutral camps, one of which is a boss level camp right up at the very top of the map. And these of course can be captured to assist your creep waves in pushing towards the enemy base, which isn't to be underestimated on any of the battlegrounds. As for the objectives unique to Black Hearts Bay alone, there is basically a big ass pirate ship right in the middle of the map and in front of it is Black Heart himself. Now what you want to do is get your hands on some gold coins to pay Black Heart with and once you've given him enough, the pirate ship in the middle will turn on your opponent's buildings for a very limited time, bombarding them and doing insane amounts of damage as you can see right here. To get yourself some gold coins you can kill regular neutral camps, you can break open chests which spawn every now and again near the middle of the map or you can kill skeleton camps which are unique to this map only skeleton camps drop two golden coins uh, just like the regular neutral camps however unlike the regular neutrals uh, they cannot be captured to help the nearest lane push they just die once you are carrying coins be extra careful not to throw your life away as when you die all your gold is going to drop to the ground for anyone to pick up so the game is starting out here, I'm playing as Tychus while Sophie is playing Malfurion and our team decides to 5-man rush the Watchtower which is pretty much a capturable observer ward and we go as a 5-man group because the enemy team will usually rush the same objective in this map. It turned out to be the right play, there is a big ass scrap for this vision spot right here um, and I definitely think that these are worth capturing even if it means sacrificing some efficiency to do so uh, and that is definitely one thing to note about heroes in comparison to other MOBAs in just about every MOBA um, spreading out and farming the entire map for experience or gold is usually really really good and um, it's still really good in heroes but a lot of the time just securing objectives like this is the priority. I mount up after we secure the watch point and I see some enemy heroes overextending so being Tychus um, I'm just going to YOLO in here and blow up the most vulnerable target to get my team the first blood. I lost a chunk of health doing that so I retreat behind our gate here and click the healing well to give myself a big heal over time. Um, and at this point the gold begins spawning in skeleton camps and the chests as we can see right here. Uh, because we won the opening fight though we already control this chest so I'm going to run south towards the second chest spawn point. One of the reasons I like Tychus is that he can hold his own uh, just by out damaging a lot of heroes. Dexter here on the enemy team also wants to get his hands in this bottom chest so I'm just going to melt his face a little bit to get him to back off. I start killing off the chest to grab the gold that Dexter just show his face again but we're going to be able to grab all of this and get away unscathed. Um, or at least that's what I thought when a wild Zeratul appears from stealth and abuses me, uh, taking all of my coins for himself. I was a little bit sad, but hey, the more coins you are carrying, the more of a juicy target you become for the enemy team. So this is a little bit further into the game. We found a bit of coins from skeletons and chests to hit our goal uh, and hire the ship. But as you can see, the enemy team is making it a pain in the ass for us to turn in. Uh, we managed to implode Zeratul though, and we are able to turn in eventually, taking the first ship of the game for ourselves. Um, I end up dying here on the retreat, but it's still more than worth it to secure with the boat, which is right now bombarding our opponent's structures. A little bit further along in the game, we are close to hitting our goal for the second ship, uh, which you can see just down in the bottom corner here. We are fighting to control the area around Black Hat, so we can turn in our coins. So I go ham here with my ultimate, just to make sure that we get this. Not even sure that it was needed in the end, uh, but we do kill off both of these guys and end up collecting nearly 20 dropped coins. Um, and needless to say, we do hide the ship again for ourselves here. While the ship is bombarding, we decide to rush up to the very top of the map to capture the boss level neutral camp. And this was very, very risky as the entire enemy team was missing on the map and none of them are dead. Um, so the danger of being ambushed is kind of looming. You can see here that they know what we are up to. Uh, but it turns out one of their guys was down on the bottom lane. I focus 100% on the boss just to make sure that we get it before a fight breaks loose. Um, I nearly get blown up here right away when it does and I'm carrying some coins so I back up to a safer position behind my team. Fucking Dreamer YOLO's in here and pops my brother in arms then has the audacity to steal all of his coins and make a run for it. So I chase him down and I get those back. It's all a bit chaotic at this point. Um, another teammate dies spilling all of his coins as well. Then they kill the guys trying to take them. And we finally managed to make it out with me and Sophie carrying most of the loot. And that is basically Black Hearts Bay in a nutshell. 
Uh, there is a lot of fighting over skeleton camps and gold chests, and of course, the middle of the map where you can actually turn in your gold. I didn't think it would be, but this is definitely one of my favorite maps. We've went over just about all there is to know about how things work, so to round off this video, um, I'm just going to play out a couple of minutes of highlights uh, just to show you guys how we close this game out. So thanks for watching everybody, I will be covering more of the Heroes Battlegrounds in future videos, as well as some of the heroes themselves, um, so I'm going to be seeing all of you guys then, I hope you all like this overview, uh, and I'll catch you all a little bit later.